All right, I think I have a layout that will work, so let me try to walk you through it. Out of the tank, it comes out down here through this small ID tube into this valve, which can be switched on and off. There's a T-junction right here. This right here will serve as a switch for turning on the draining. If I turn this on, it should drain the tank. I'll just need to find a way to run this somewhere out down through the van. Out of the other end of the T-junction, it will come around to this ID tubing right here, circle all the way around to here, into the pump. The pump will pump the water. You can see this little arrow right here through the accumulator. From the accumulator, I'll come up to the here, to this other T-junction. This end of the T-junction will go to this ID tubing that I just haven't plugged in yet because I probably want to make some adjustments to it, to the hot water tank, and the hot water tank will run to the faucet. The other end of this T-junction will come through this compression fitting down to the water filter, and then from the top of the water filter, also up to the faucet. I think this will work. Maybe I'll make slight adjustments to it, but I don't really think so. And I'm pretty happy with all the fittings and everything that I've connected so far. So I think I'm going to make a bunch of small adjustments, try to get this screwed down, and I'll report back when I have something to show. So I was looking around just a moment ago, and I realized I had completely forgotten about these tubes that came with a silencing kit that I ordered for this pump. So instead of using these ID tubing that I had cut up to go from the junction to the pump, really I should be using these tubes that I ordered because I think these are supposed to be specially designed to help reduce sound and be nice and flexible and durable. Um, so I figure why not use the things I ordered specifically for this. But the thing that sucks about that is this expects a MIP to connect into, which is A-OK -okay for this side, but not over here. So I'm going to have to go to the hardware store yet again and get two more of the, where's an example? MIP to MIP nipples, just like this right here. I'm gonna have to go get two more of these, which is annoying, but eventually I will have this right. After another quick trip to the hardware store to pick up some painter's tape, I believe I have everything hooked up in the way I want to. I get to plug in the hot water tank. Uh, I'm planning on doing that once I have the sink actually in place and I can kind of put everything in the places I plan on them staying long term. But the next thing I really want to do is take this half inch plywood countertop that I cut out and screw it into the frame. Once I have that screwed in, uh, I'm going to take this middle piece out and cut the hole for the sink to go into. I have the sink right over there. So once I'm ready to do that, I'll put the sink in. Once the sink's in, then I'm kind of mostly done with this. And I can move on to the next big project. So that's what I'm going to do right now. countertop on now. This is not perfectly straight, nor is it perfectly flush, but uh, this is more so for sturdiness and durability. It's not the actual visible countertop that you're going to see once I'm done with this, so I'm not really worried that I screwed up the cutting like right here pretty badly. Uh, this will be covered. But now that I have these outer two pieces in, this one and this one, I'm going to take this measure where I want the sink to go, take the sink out of the box, and kind of sketch it out, and then I'll have my marks for when I'm ready to cut this tomorrow. All right, I have two main objectives for today. I want to get the hole cut out for this sink, which I have the instructions for that right here. I've never put a sink in before, so it should be interesting. Uh, another thing I've never done before is I've never built a fuse box, or a circuit breaker box, I guess I should say. But I have my circuit breaker box right here. You can see stuff on the inside right there. So I want to hang this up to, and I want to get this marked and get the hole cut out into the wood right here. I'm probably going to do the breaker box first. So I'm thinking with the box of putting it like right here. There isn't a convenient way to attach this really. Um, look inside. 
There's holes here that I can put screws into. But I can't screw into like the frame over here. That wouldn't work. So what I did is I created this thing. So what I'm thinking, I'll screw this into these planks and then the breaker box will sit right here. So I can screw in the back of it into this and then it will rest on this board right here. That's what I'm thinking of doing. So I'm probably gonna take that, put it right up here and screw it in the way I want. And then I can put in the breaker box. Let's see here. So and that will rest. This box, rest. That's way too high up. So I need to move that down three inches. Right there. Try to level this a little bit. And then uh, I think screw it in. Two screws on each side ought to do it. Once I put this up. And there we have it. I think it looks pretty nice. I don't think it's going anywhere. Wobbles just a little bit, but I think that's fine. This is really the first thing that I've needed the studs on the walls for, so I'm pretty excited. Next is the sink. So the instructions for the sink want me to take this, lay it upside down, and then trace around it to give me the mark for where the sink is gonna go and the hole size for it. So, I think I'll do that now. Okay, let's see. Get this upside down. And then try. So this is a little over four inches. A little over four inches. This side is a little over three inches. So it needs to come this way slightly. Three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters, two and a half ish, two and a half ish. I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it. So then I just trace around this. So now it wants me to cut this. need to clean up these corners make them more straight and we're good to go okay so this time I put it in over there and it's pretty snugly in there now so I don't feel like taking it out again I think that looks good so what does this say I'm supposed to do next I'm supposed to use a cock on this which I do not have right now so I'll probably have to run to the hardware store at some point but I can do that later. 
So I think for these, right here, you're supposed to put these on the underside of the sink. As you can see, there's the sink. Here's like the countertop. I guess what these are for is as you tighten that, it actually pulls up. So it pulls the sink up into the countertop. I think that's how this is supposed to work. Let me show you down here. These little ducts right there are what you're supposed to use. So I don't really understand this, but before I'm supposed to do that, I'm supposed to caulk this to make it kind of watertight anyway. So I'll probably wait on that. I'm also not even, this isn't even really the like, countertop I'm going to use. I'm going to put vinyl or something on top of this. This is more for the structure, but now this is in place, uh, maybe I can at the very least try hooking up my plumbing. But before I do that, I've got more work to do on the electricity. So that's going to be my goal for the rest of the day is just keep working on the electrical stuff. This for now can just stay like that. <laughs> 